Gotta try to keep an eye on everything, but here we go with the fireball. Come on. Woo! All the way to the middle with the late quake. Boom. Oh my gosh, you got the CC building. You got the monolith. Welcome back, ladies and gentle gamers, to the next matchup. Today in the French Clash Cup, we got big drama. We got big news. We have no game volume. Rip. Koala's in first. This is Navi versus 33 Heavens. It does have game volume. I'll try to fix it after this attack. Maybe gotta plug in the capture card again. Battle blimp to the core. Holy heck. But big, big news. First off, Root Riders are banned in this tournament that we're watching today. So no Root Riders in this matchup. Holy super minion bomb for the core. But the big news. It seems Mr. P. Castro somehow caught a ban on his main account. And uh, I don't think he's going to be playing today. I don't think he's going to be playing tomorrow. I don't think he's going to be playing the monthly qualifiers. I am not 100% sure about this next statement, but I think Navi are also going to get disqualified from the May monthly qualifiers. And they're going to have to retry again next month in June with a different player. So... Big drama. I don't know why P. Castro caught a ban this morning on his main account or how, but uh, it seems it happened. Dima is in with the next attack. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Still haven't been able to fix the game sound. I'll try again after this attack. We got more dragons. Both teams coming out with dragons early in this matchup. Sure. Dragons from the bottom, dragons from the right. A lot of balloons, battle blimp, war and ability. Let's get it. Healing Tome in effect. Frozen Arrow, normal stuff on the King, normal stuff on the Champion, the new stuff. Rage, Rage, Clone Spell, Double Clone. Ooh. Tornado Trap spinning, King and Queen deployed on the right side of the base. All pretty normal stuff. Okay, I can actually hear the game sound coming from my speakers. So yeah, I just have it routed the wrong way somehow. Um, I'll, I think I know how to fix it. I'll do it after this attack. <laughs> the game sounds not going to the desktop audio. It's like it's actually going to my speakers that I don't use whenever I'm streaming. That's hilarious. Anyways, Royal Champion on the left side of the base. King Queen just chilling on the upper side of the base. Very healthy. This should be wrecked, right? As long as we have a plan to get through that single target Inferno Tower. We don't have any spells left, but the Royal Champion ability should be good enough. Should be good enough to get it done. There's the Lava Dog. Take care of that. Hog Riders are in for the Inferno Tower. No Poison Spell to take care of the pups, but who cares? Is this going to be a war about time? Even though Root Riders are not allowed? Maybe. Nice 3 star from Demon. Let's quickly check out the time. 111 for the 33 Heavens. They're in the lead by like 13 seconds. Jin is in. With some Lalo with a jumping spell. Let's see. We got game audio back. <laughs> I fixed the problem. I fixed the problem. I'm so smart. Actually a silly goose. But uh, I'm going to pretend like I'm smart. King taking the jump spell on the left side of the base. Queen with the ice golem doing their thing toward the upper side. Sure. We're trying to get some Sui value before we do the big old lay low. Super Barb on the outside. Helping to support. Royal Champion boy from the left side of the base. Cool, cool, cool. Pop that king ability. Nice golems on defense, no big deal. Queen will be able to take care of those. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Another two skeleton spells on the left, because ideally he wants his royal champion to go fight them all. There's a chance she gets stuck on the hound, but for now she's ignoring the hound. She's going to go fight the heroes. And we're going to go ahead and start the Lalo on the bottom side. Check out the queen on the upper side. She's still vibing. Does she have a healer puppet? No, but she uh, does have the unicorns to help out. First lava hound dies. We've got the battle blimp soaring for the town hall chamber. Warn ability now. Ooh, yeah. Oh yeah, both Poison Tower is going to go off on the Battle Blimp. Get ready to rage it up. Yes, sir. Rage, freeze. Down goes the Town Hall. The Eagle, we still didn't get through the Monolith. The Royal Champion backtracked for the Lava Hound on defense. Okay. Lots of balloons all over the right side of the base. Royal Champion gets through the Monolith. Gets through the Eagle. Heading to the core to clear out all these defenses that the balloons and the Yeti Bomb skipped. One more freeze on the right side by the Tesla Farm by the multi-targeting Inferno Tower that the Queen was not able to accomplish. Taking down... But I don't think it matters. We got so many balloons alive. Royal Champion with her ability just cruising. 
through the base. There's a tornado trap. Not in a good spot for Kazuma versus this attack. It's another clan. Flash. Triple for 33 heavens. Not the fastest one they've had, but uh, Kazuma is in more dragons. All right. We are liking the dragons again with a giant arrow. Probably going to see it right up the gut if I had to guess. Let's pay attention. I'm going to stay zoomed out. Don't want to miss it. You might just drop the queen and pop it right away. Two lightning spells and an earthquake. Boom. Queen on the bottom side of the base. Giant arrow right through the middle section. Two lightning spells and an earthquake. Down goes the sweeper. Down goes an inferno tower. All right. Cool. So we're going to use dragons on the left because that sweeper is already gone. Dragon's going to be able to take out the enemy world champion right away. King, queen doing their thing on the bottom side of the base. He has a frozen arrow with the queen. Right. Battle blimp deployed. Still holding on to this warren ability with the healing tome. Pop it now. Boom. Super dragon on defense. Dragons inside the rage spell inside the healing tome. Going to have no problem at all taking that out. Rage spell. A lot of uh, Yeti bomb. All right. To take out the town hall. Sure, sure, sure. Free spell on the right. King still gets wrecked. Queen has the unicorn trying to keep her alive. Skeleton spell on the back end. Distract the monolith. Distract the warren statue. One more rage spell for some of these dragons to take out some of the key defenses that can help keep the queen alive. Come on, get through that expo. Frozen arrow going to come in clutch. World champion on the top side pops ability. She's back up to full health. Got the hog rider puppet. Got the haste file. She quick with it. This is a wrecked base. Wrecked base. Question is, can we do it really quickly to catch up on time? Dragons moving through. Hog riders, world champion. Phoenix trying to help out as well. Skeleton traps. Good thing you saved the poison spell, honestly. 98, 99, 100, 6 to 6, and look at the time averages now. It's pretty close. Only 6 seconds difference on average. Is that how you say his name? I don't know, dude, but we got more dragons. A lot of these guys are just loving the dragon spam. When they can't do Root Rider spam, hey, the dragon spam's just as strong. Maybe a tiny bit slower, that's all. Dragons are in on the top side of the base with a stone slammer. He used two lightning spells for a sweeper. Queen on the left side with the healer puppet. Early Warren ability. No battle blimp for the town hall in this one. We are going to rely on that stone slammer. Maybe we want the queen to walk in for the town hall. I don't know. I don't know. Poison tower is slowing us down on the top side. Got a bunch of dragons pathing to the town hall on the left. Another rage. Another freeze. Get through this inferno tower eagle area. Going to have to fight the queen. Freeze upon the town hall. Only one dragon going for that though. Could be a little sketchy. Queen stays on the outside. We need the uh, Inferno Baby to go help out. Take out the Town Hall. That might not work. He got one more freeze. He's not going to use it. Oh, this is going to get really awkward. That Giga Inferno is going to kill the Unicorn. Going to wreck the Queen. Does indeed use the final freeze there. Ooh. Are these okay though, right? Tornado Trap actually spins Queen. Not in a bad way. It spins her toward the Town Hall and she's able to finish it off. Yo, Tornado Trap probably should have been on the other side. Rip Mr. Klaus's base. World Champion pops ability. Going to be able to take out that last Builder Hut. 98, 99, and 100. And this one was a fast 75 second three star, bro. Who needs Root Riders when you can still hit 75 second triples with dragons? The man, the myth, the legend himself. Klaus Nose is in. 25 rocket balloons, two healers, and another fireball trick. Oh boy. Oh boy, this guy loves to make it fun. King Queen on the opposite side with the Royal Champion. All four heroes deployed early here. Oh gosh, gotta try to keep an eye on everything. Gotta try to keep an eye on everything, but here we go with the Fireball. Come on. Woo! All the way to the middle with the late Quake. Boom. Oh my gosh, he got the CC building. He got the Monolith all timed before the King gets in there and pulls CC troops out. Log Launcher, Rocket Balloons, Grand Warden goes down. He had the two healers, but he still died. Finds the Tesla farm on the left. King with the giant gauntlet and the Phoenix trying to take out the town hall. More rocket balloons along the right side of the base. Couple skeleton spells to help distract. Free spell on the backside. Log launcher is actually about to finish off the town hall. Come on. Come on. I believe. Tornado trap spinning. Rage the one rocket balloon to get the eagle. That's not going to work. Uh oh. He dropped them all. He got a haste. He lets every single rocket balloon die before we deploy the haste. Pop the RC ability. Only got like four more defenses. We're going to haste the hogs. Haste the hogs. We got a haste gem for the champion and a haste spell for the hogs. Get in there. Go fast. They take out the eagle. The queen is still alive. She gets the inferno tower. All the defenses are dead. And it's a three star. <laughs> I don't I don't know what to call it, but it was awesome. Oh gosh. But it gets a little slow here at the very end to get the last few buildings. Klaus takes out Yo-Yo's base. But Navi's still down on time. 
still down on time, but beautiful three star attack with the rocket balloons, the angry jelly and the fireball. Yo, yo is in for revenge. His base just got wrecked by some Klaus awesomeness. And what is yo, yo going to do? He's going to bring a whole lot of dragons. All right, sure. Dragon spam. It's been working for everybody else so far today. Stone Slammer, Early Rage, Early Ward ability, a couple of Inferno Dragons trying to funnel on the right side of the base. King deployed with the Queen who popped her ability immediately as well. No Battle Blimp. Some of these guys are really preferring the Stone Slammer. We'll just get the Town Hall whenever we get it. Queen can reach the King over the wall. Cool. Freeze the Town Hall and the Sweeper. All right, all right, all right. Champion still not deployed. We're perfectly tied on average attack duration, so they still need to go for pure speed. Down goes the Town Hall, sure. Another freeze on the Monolith. He needs that to go down or else it'll wipe out the Queen too. And it will. Throw a Champion deployed from the upper side of the base. We still got that freeze and one more. And a Poison Spell. Maybe to go on the enemy Queen. Or we can just have the King Giant Gauntlet take her out. There's the last freeze on the Ricochet Cannon. Uh, there's the Poison Spell for the Lava Dog. Good thing he saved it. Didn't even notice the Lava Hound alive there. Go, go, go for speed. Oh my gosh, these guys are quick. Dude, the dragons are actually so fast, even without a blimp or anything. Another 75 second attack. I think it was actually 74. Woo! Pressure on Na'Vi now, man. Gaku and Stars can't use Root Riders, and they need some fast attack. Stars Nose is in. He's got to go for pure speed. Three stars aren't even good enough right now. He needs to keep it under 74 seconds, and he's bringing the Zap Lalo. We're going to see. The style of Zap Lalo, where he's starting the Lalo almost right away, though. Let's see. What is his plan? Two wizards, 17 minions, seven lightning spells. King, queen, sneaky goblin, deployed. One wall breaker used on the junction. Two, actually, for the queen to be able to walk and get some value. Zap Quake for the scatter shot. Expo, multi archer tower, poison tower. That's good value. Healer puppet. Healing Tome. New stuff on the champion. He's starting the Lalo now. He already waited quite a bit of time. I think in the past, he's been able to start Lalo after like 10 seconds. This time, he waited like 21 seconds to start the Lalo. King getting some value. Queen looking very healthy. Lalo from the left with the Warden ability. Battle Blimp for the Town Hall. Poison Tower popping off. Headhunters in the Warden ability. Going to be able to take out the enemy Archer Queen. Yes. That part looks good. Royal Champion stuck on the Lava Hound on defense. These guys put the perfect thing on defense. If it was a super dragon, the royal champion would have been able to take it out pretty quickly instead. She's spending forever working on those lava pups. Town hall went down. Queen has the healer puppet. She's moving down to the bottom side of the base. With that wall break, she'll be able to go help out the rest of the, of the balloons, take out the defense. This royal champion cleared the core. King's still alive on the outside. It's all about cleanup, speed. Go, 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 go. I don't know if this is fast enough. Come on. 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73. 74, 75, 76. I think it was just two seconds slower than what 33 Heavens just had. And so because of that, the average for Na'Vi is one second slower. Ooh, this is going to be a good finish. Joan, the final attack for 33 Heavens. It needs speed. It has to focus on speed. A couple rocket balloons snipe some air defenses. He's got more dragons. Couple lightning spells for an air sweeper. How fast can you triple? That's gonna tell Gaku how fast he has to triple. Queen on the bottom side of the base, warden ability, battle blimp soaring for the town. Oh, chamber. There's the first rage. There's an invis tower here. We got a super minion bomb with a clone with a rage. We're gonna let the invis tower go off. Keep making our super minions invisible. Invis Tower will expire. He actually got the Town Hall before the Invis Tower even went off, dude. They, like, one or two shot it. That's nuts. These dragons are fizzling out like crazy. Hold up. Hold up. Hold your ponies. Oh, he did not even clear the core. <gasps> Uh-oh. SpaghettiOs. He's not using the champion with the other heroes for them to distract. He's going to send her to the core by herself, even with the Spirit Fox. That's a lot of stuff to try and get through. One freeze, one invis for the champion after using that freeze for the balloons. RC ability. Tornado traps over there. Oh my gosh. Queen has to go to ability. King already used his. Invis spell. Giant bombs all over the place. Skeleton traps everywhere. RC. 
Gonna get distracted. Oh, she's dead as heck. Warden's over here on the left with the king and the queen. Wow. After going four for four. With quick attacks. No root riders allowed. Joan. Who mistake? I mean, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Isn't wasn't he a part of JX Tiger, who won the world championship back in what 2021? This guy's a world champion, and oh my gosh, they might just lose the match because of his attack here. Queen gets through the wall. Gonna get through the scatter shot. Phoenix trying her best to take out the Xbox. But she's gonna go down. Queen gonna go down. It's a defense for Dima. Spam everything in on the top side. 92%. Gaku does not have to rush his attack anymore. He just needs 93% for the win. Gaku is in. And who knows if this was his original plan or not. Probably not. It's Queen charge Lalo. Normally isn't known for being like a 75 second attack. But that's what he brings here today. Queen, charge, la lo. Early Yeti Bomb. Is he trying to get the monolith? Because he sure did not. He did pick up an expo. And a builder hut. We got the CC pulled. But that's about it. Alright. Maybe King will be able to take out the monolith over the wall if he goes to attack it. I don't know if he will though. Queen having to deal with these lava puffs. He should be able to drop the healers, but he's choosing not to. Not, not dropping them just yet. There's a wall break in right there. King does end up taking out the monolith. That's good news. So the queen won't have to worry about that. Okay. All right. That Yeti Blim definitely felt a little wonky, but I think he's looking okay. He's looking okay. Baby Dragon made a perfect funnel on the bottom side of the base. Queen with the Rage Spell. Able to take out the Scatter. Able to take out the multi-targeting Inferno Tower. That Rage Tower on defense. Not really doing too much. Queen is vibing right now. He's got one more wall break. I'm sure he would love to get it to target this Rage Tower, but I don't know if he can. Because of this. He should have brought an extra wall break. Maybe. If he deploys it right after the storage is dead. He's going to wait till the cannon's dead. That might be too late. It doesn't matter. Queen's just going to dip out the other way. That works too. Just Lalo from the left. Bro champions in. Helping to shape up the Lalo pathing. Rage the queen again. Maybe she'll get even bonus value. Oh, that Gigabomb though hits hard. Invis tower. Or Invis spell, I mean. Tornado trap spinning her in circles. Royal champion going to get the Eagle artillery down. We still got a warden ability we're holding on to. Headhunters take out the barb. King. Pop the warden ability. Got a healing tome. Not able to get the champion in the warden ability, but still got the spirit fox. The maker go invisible again. As well as the Hog Rider Puppet, the Haze File, quick with it. There's the Healing Tome. More balloons supporting from the top side of the base. Freeze and then freeze again. And then freeze one more time for extra good luck. Or swag it. Swag it all over their base because this is a three star and a victory for Na'Vi. Wowzers. Would have been really interesting to see what Gaku had cooking if he had to go for time. He was able to slow down and do a Queen Charge Lalo, and it absolutely wrecked this base with the Swag Spell. Navi get a perfect war, even without Pete Castro. And they take home the W today. 15 stars to 14.